let's start a new subject on this channel and that is general relativity as a quantum field theory now this subject is not really very new in fact it had been studied long before as well but at the time the understanding was pretty weak so to speak uh, compared to whatever we have accomplished today and so for this course my goal will be to develop general relativity from a quantum field theory point of view and then to introduce a few techniques that are required to understand the said subject. Now, there are two uh, main theories of physics. Uh, one is standard model and the other one is general relativity. Right? Now, there is actually a pretty big amount of difference in how standard model was developed and how general relativity did. And this contrast between the two actually influences how we think about these two things or these two theories. Now, the standard model actually developed hand in hand with quantum field theory. And in quantum field theory, we have QED, that is quantum electrodynamics, uh, a type of quantum field theory. And QED required the development of what is called a renormalization theory. Right? And, well, uh, there is another... Uh, one that is yang mills theory and that required the understanding of uh, gauge invariance right now uh well not only gauge invariance uh, some more things uh, uh, that would include uh, path integrals as well and something that's called, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, so forgive me, but I'll say Fadov Popov, Popov uh, Ghosts, right? Okay, right. Now, uh, there is another one, and that's, uh, that's called Quantum Chromodynamics. Right, and quantum chromodynamics required the understanding of what's called uh, asymptotic. Uh, I forgot a p in there. Okay, asymptotic uh, freedom, and uh, also uh, confinement. Right. I'm not going to go into the depth of these terms. I'm going to assume that if you're here for this course, you would probably know these terms uh, from your courses on uh, quantum field theory, particle physics, and so on. But let's uh, let's move a bit further. Uh, there's another one that's called uh, that's well that's the, there's something called a weak interaction or a weak force. Right? And weak force required the understanding of what's called uh, the Higgs mechanism and also uh, what is known as uh, the, uh, well, dimensional regularization. Right. And uh, well, and after all of these were uh, fully developed, we had these tools in our hands, uh, that is this quantum field theory, only then we could go back to standard model and formulate standard model as a theory, right? Okay. Now, in contrast, we have general relativity. 
general relativity was fully formulated uh, about somewhat say a hundred years ago so it was uh, developed about a hundred years ago which means that uh, it was uh, well it was developed hundred years ago uh, and it was passed down to us by uh, Einstein himself and it was uh, passed down as a geometric uh, theory right geometric theory which essentially means that there is no such thing as a gravitational force but only a geodesic motion in curved space and time or curved space time but uh, like I was saying that the theory was formulated so long ago that all the attempts to make a quantum theory were really premature, right? And uh, this, uh, this thing then, it uh, caused a very, uh, well, a very poor reputation for, uh, for quantum uh, general relativity. So to make a quantum field theory out of general relativity, it actually requires all of these tools that we have for standard model, right? So these all are required to make quantum field theory out of general rel relativity, right? And even more things are required, such as the development of what is known as the effective field theory, right? And we will look at this effective field theory in the uh, span of this course, right? So what we would be doing is, we would be embarking on this wonderful journey as we now we have all these tools at our disposal right at this time uh, we have all of these tools of quantum field theory effective uh, field theory we have all of these with us and so we can try ourselves to uh, we can set out to develop a theory of gravity from the quantum field theory perspective now of course there will still be problems with quantum gravity of course but the bad reputation that it had gotten initially in the past or in uh, in the beginning of its uh, development uh, it's not uh, well deserved so to speak right so the uh, the quantum field theory treatment of general relativity is su is successful as uh, as an effective field theory right and it forms a huge uh, or it forms a well-defined quantum field theory in somewhat of a modern sense right now I would keep this introduction very short and in the next uh, lecture on this uh, course or in on this subject I would be talking about the conventions that I would be using throughout my uh, lectures in this series. And also we would look at some of the preliminaries that are required for constructing general relativity as a gauge theory, right? So yeah, that's it.